Hello, everyone. Hi there. I'm Kelly Sarlow. I'm Karen Sarlow. So we've been invited by Community Living to be a part of your health and wellness week to expose you to some wonderful resources that can keep you, your patients, and the families healthy. Mm -hmm. And in this particular video that we're doing today, um, you have been so kind to help me um, discuss life coaching. Mm -hmm. So that is something that I offer as a separate service from channeling, which we did in another video, mm -hmm. separate from the podcasts. Um, so you kind of have a question and answer prepared so that people can be uh -huh. educated about it. So thank you. You know what, Kelly, can I start by asking about your education first? Sure. Uh, I'm just going to say, what education do you have? So my degree is in psychology, a specialization in psychology. I have a nutrition certification and a life coaching certification. Where's your life coaching certification from? The Blackford Institute in the UK. It was done online. Okay. And how, how many years roughly have you been life coaching? Oh, I thought you were going to say in school. Um, oh, I guess I started full-time in 2013. So it's been quite a while now. Oh my God, I'm dating myself. <laughs> you just had a moment, eh? I did. I had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when somebody calls and really doesn't even know what a life coach does or what they really offer, and they've just heard about you and heard they helped another person, um, how do you begin by saying, um, you know, like, or explaining it when they say, well, I heard about you, what do you do? Hmm. I often don't. So I usually come back with a question about what what went on in their brain to prompt them to call or to oh, reach out. Oh, I like that. Because that helps me further assess or begin assessing um, whether or not life coaching is the right resource for them. Okay. So instead of launching into a spiel, I like to know um, what what was, as you've said before, what was niggling at them? Um, you know, what what is it that was causing them just enough to stress to pick up the phone and reach out to someone because asking for help is a big deal. Okay. So do you find that there are certain types of people that fit into where life coaching does help them? Yes, or I wouldn't have a practice. No, I mean, what kinds? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm That's typically fair. not. You're not the bad. interviewer. <laughs> um, yeah. So life coaching is fantastic when you are not working with a diagnosed um, illness and you're looking to make life changes, lifestyle changes within your day-to-day -day experience. So people who are looking to target things like communication skills, um, mindsets, the way that they perceive and experience their world, um, emotion regulation, um, to name a few. Will you hold me accountable? Oh, yes. So just to kind of meld some of your questions, if that's okay, mm -hmm. when people reach out and begin to express, you know, why they might be thinking they want help or need help, um, I, I really look to target what what's causing them distress in the first place, because mm -hmm. that's also going to help me understand whether or not it's within my realm of expertise, um, and if it's just above my pay grade, which I'm okay to admit. Mm -hmm. um, so... So you would refer to another professional? 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm always very straightforward to say I would be a great addition to your health team in collaboration with a psychologist or psychiatrist or a doctor or physio, um, but I'm very clear as to what I can't replace. Um, but certain, certain fields in the medical profession cannot touch the lifestyle changes because they don't necessarily have the emotional intelligence um, to help them tweak. They might just have um, either medicinal or very distinct behavioral things that don't shift the actual mindset or the root of the um, the, the problem in, in our head, the, you know, the, the loop that we run on our story, things like that. Um, okay, I'm going to pretend like I'm the one looking for it so that the listener can kind of, like I'm in their shoes. Okay, then I want to answer your question about being accountable. Right. Because I, I was trying to put them all together here. And so what I'm very clear to to say to people is that this is not therapy. Um, you are not going to talk yourself in circles. This is not going to be, you know, me saying, and how did that make you feel? That mm -hmm. will be one of many questions, but this isn't where I'm going to let you come to your own conclusions over the period of 10 years. 
this is going to be very pointed, very action oriented or action focused so that you're walking away from each session in your life coaching program, which we'll get to, um, with very clear understandings of what's expected for you to implement in your life. And then each session we debrief about that and that's the accountability. Oh, lovely. I want to see follow through or we're not continuing our relationship as a coach and client. Mm. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yes, it okay. does. I, I'm, um, I'm thinking about avoiders. Mm. I'm thinking about people who reach out to life coaches because they have patterns. Mm -hmm. So I'm hearing that you will identify or help people identify their patterns mm -hmm. so that if those are identified and you give them a process around that and then they learn to hold themselves accountable, they come to do the work and then they can come to the sessions with you to do more work mm -hmm. or fine tune it. Mm -hmm. So you must have different types of clients then. All kinds. All different ages too. Okay. Um, which, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I love because it's, it's a variety and it's so interesting. Um, but there's people of all ages who are looking to do things like pattern interrupt. You know what you're, you're talking right. about. Interrupt unwanted intrusive thoughts um, or behavioral patterns throughout the day. Um, and they just need that slight little different perspective or different action they can insert to really make uh, a big shift. Men and women? Yes. Um, as you said, all ages? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's different screenings for children um, based on their ability to comprehend, whether it's, um, you know, if, if there's learning disabilities, it's a different conversation, but also age-wise, if they're just not mature enough to do things on their own, then we arrange for families to sit in if that's, if that's necessary. Okay. Couples? Yes. Okay. With both, with both consent, I've had some people drag someone here and say we're doing life coaching, and that didn't fly. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be both parties consenting, okay. or I should say all parties consenting, because as we know, there aren't just couples anymore. Right. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's good to clarify. A lot of people feel lost. Mm -hmm. They feel like there's no direction. They're lost in their their relationships. Some of them just feel lost within their own minds or their own souls. They don't know what they think. They don't know what they want to do. And they just can't even get motivated to figure mm -hmm. out um, why I get up in the morning or why I don't quit this job or um, uh, what kind of career would be good for me. Mm -hmm. So are these the types of questions that you hear often? And yeah. can you help people with that? Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know what, uh, the majority of people actually call not knowing what they want. And I think that's really neat because, well, okay. it's fun for me because it's, it's figuring things out um, and it's really getting to know someone. A lot of people just call and say, I have no direction. I have no feeling of purpose. Um, and so we, you know, we, we work on an individual basis. Programs are not cookie cutter. They're not, you know, one way to do things for everyone. Every program is designed for each individual person. And so your version of Lost is very different than mine. Okay. Um, well, I don't know what I feel. Um, can you help me with that if you're a life coach? I, yes. I, I don't know how to identify what I feel. My partner always tells me um, uh, that I don't emote. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, gosh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And that, that actually feeling is the heart of life coaching. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do comes back to what do I want to feel? Um, and I don't want that question to scare anyone if they're mm -hmm. listening to this for the first time and don't know how to answer it. That's normal. Um, or that that is the average. Um, but that is what we come back to with every decision that we make, every change that we wish to implement. It's always going to come back to what do I want to feel? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the biggest thing that people um, get from life coaching is evaluation systems so that they can experience life, evaluate how they feel about it, and go forward, you know, knowing whether or not they want to replicate that kind of experience, mm -hmm. have it again, or make changes to um, to create something that they, think that they actually love. Okay. I've got another one for you. Okay. I'm trying to think You're of doing different You're doing great. Um, uh, I, I've just had change forced upon me. I've mm. lost my job. My partner has left me. Um, it's, I'm 18 and I have to get out of the house. My parents are driving me crazy. Oh my God. All of those things all at once. 
Well, I'm just well, I'm, saying. I'm just fielding questions here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you a variety of situations where there's drastic change in people's lives. Okay. And can they all come to you for coaching? Yes. The 18-year-old that doesn't know what university or where to go in life, never mind university, it could just be just to get up in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody who's lost a job or quit a job or yeah. it's done, it's retired, and I just don't know what I'm doing in my retirement. Transitions. That's Yeah, that, essentially you're talking about transitions. And yes, that that's one of the biggest reasons people come to is the fear of the unknown, fear of the change. Whether or not it's forced upon them or they've chosen it themselves, we can still experience fear in our own choice. And and we often just want to know that someone's going to be there as we make those steps and we can kind of look back like we do as kids and go, I'm doing okay, right? Mm. To our, our parents or our guardians. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's essentially what this is. Um, and I often don't get to this part of the spiel until we're in an actual assessment, but one of the best parts of the job is being people's biggest cheerleaders. Mm. You know, you posed the question and said, do you hold people accountable? Yes, that sounds like a boss's job. But um, celebrating them with every step that they take uh, is the best part of the job. Oh, if, if feeling that momentum that they're creating for themselves and saying, "Yes, this is it." So it's uh, about encouragement. Yes, and celebrating. Mm-hmm. But we learn in coaching to figure out what is worth celebrating. And sometimes it's not the actual result. It's not the actual accomplishment, mm-hmm. but what they felt in the process of achieving it. Right. Okay, Kel, I'm I'm just going to jump in as your mom now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I, I, everybody this knows. This is great because if they watched our active listening and emotional <laughs> intelligence video, they're going to know that this is a really good check-in about roles. Yes. Good. So first of all, I'm going to ask you, um, I've been interviewing you mm-hmm. and that was my role. Um, may I put my mom hat on for a moment and, and say something? Sure. Okay. Thank you. So... I'm almost 60 and I've gone through transitions, as you've said, changes, Mm -hmm. um, challenges in life. And I won't be specific about them. That's not the point. The point is, is that with, with those different changes and transitions, there was a lot of, um, uh, necessary self-reflection, but I could have got stuck in the reflection and just stayed in it. Mm -hmm. I'll say buried in it or drown in it. (laughs) <laughs> that's fair. Because, well, we can do that, right? Yeah. Especially if we're people pleasers. And well, then that's we, depression. Yes. And then we can go into fix, fix mode. But it was different when you went into life coaching and came out with your certificate because you were able to ask the right questions hmm. that took me out of sitting in emotional paralysis. And you took me out of the emotional paralysis, not by pushing me, not by forcing me, not by shaming me, threatening me, or prodding me, or holding something tantalizing and bribing me. Hmm. You simply offered questions that were impartial, where I could go off in my own time, think about, and then I think when you saw that I was actually thinking about them, you would ask another question that ever so slightly prompted me that I could see choices. And then I figured out I could take actions. And as I made tiny steps, you were always right there with the next question or word of encouragement. And I watched you go back and forth between asking me questions so I had to do my own work, offering me some reflection if, if, you, if, you, if I asked you for it, and then offering me just the right amount of encouragement not to have me go back into the paralysis and get lazy. <laughs> this is a balance. <laughs> or, But that you would offer me just enough encouragement that I felt good enough about myself to take action or to go back and think things again and find more choices and different directions. Oh, my goodness. You did not put mom hat on. You put testimonial client hat on. Well... It's, 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 I'm, I'm saying thank you. Oh, yeah. It's the truth hat, too. Because you managed to do that for me as a daughter. You managed to do that as a coworker, mm. And you managed to do that as a boss at times where we wear different hats and careers. Yeah. Sometimes I'm the boss. Sometimes you're the boss. Yeah. You're the producer. You're the editor. And um, 
you you put all the different hats on and you manage to do a variety of things. So I've watched you do a delicate dance in life coaching to meet people's needs. And then I've seen you do it with your friends in conversations. I've not seen you do it with your clients because that's confidential. Mm-hmm. But I've seen you do it with um, the, the people that matter to you in life. And I've watched you step back when you knew you had to and that that wasn't your role. And I've watched you step in where they've given you permission, but didn't flat out come out and tell you they gave permission and watched you test the waters and see what you could do and then check in with them. So I know from firsthand experience what a delicate dance you do with every single person in your life, professionally and personally. And I think it's good for people to hear that you have that high level of professionalism. I don't think we needed the interview. (laughs) Thank you. It's very, very true. And I've watched you do it through university of learning psychology for your five years. And I've watched you then take what you learned in college in psychology into a practice with the channeling and the gifts and then watched you also take it into the nutritional coaching and the life coaching. Thank you. And and it, it, it packs a good punch. It's an effective punch is what I'm trying to say. I, you, you, <laughs> I hope I worded that right. I think you did it perfectly. I Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. It, it is a balance. And I also see where you will always defer to professionals. Oh, yes. Where you will stand back and say, Mom, you need therapy. Or, you know, Mom, you need your girlfriends. You got to go talk to, to someone your own age about this. This isn't my stuff. I'm your daughter. Got my daughter hat on. Go have a coffee. Mm-hmm. Hit, hit the trails and go walking. Like, I've seen where the, you, how you put the hats on get better and better with each year. And I think that everybody listening to this will value that in somebody. that they want to trust. Thank you. I'm having a daughter moment right now. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. And, and a professional moment as well, just um, mm-hmm. to have everything that you strive for um, mirrored, uh, mirrored back at you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. Okay. Well, if you have questions <laughs> or comments... <laughs> Um, you can email us at info at I am so happy with each submission that comes in uh, with regards to life coaching. It's such a beautiful change to make uh, to fall in love with your own life.